Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Sing with me. Well, you're not going to see me for a while. You're not going to see me for a while because we're going to do an audio interview here uh, because uh, we like to. Every now and then, we love to go out to California and talk with an old friend of ours. Ladies and gentlemen, out to San Francisco, California. The city so nice they named it once. See, we say about New York, the city so nice they named it twice, New York, New York. Uh, it's Larry Brown. Hello, Lawrence. Yes, the last Amish person in San Francisco. The last Amish person in San Francisco. I, you know, he, I got his uh, phone message, and it said, I'll call you right back. And I'm just trying to figure out how you call them right back. Because you're, uh, uh, you, you, you don't, you, you have a phone, but it's an old flip phone. It's not I a mo modern yeah. cell phone. So obviously you don't get a message uh, on your phone or it doesn't send it to your phone. So tell them how you get your messages. Well, I just have to think, I wonder if I got a message. So I call in like every couple of hours mm -hmm. just to check the answering machine and, uh, the good thing is nobody calls the landline anymore, so I don't. I probably get two messages a week on this thing. Yeah, well, what I would do if I were you is change the message to "I'll get right back to you." <laughs> I'll get back to you soon. Would probably be the real answer. Yeah, right. <laughs> Am I giving you a bad time because of your ludditeness? You don't like my Lud nightmares because you've always been on the cutting edge of technology, and I'm the other end. I hate you know something. Else? There, there's something wrong with being on the cutting edge of technology, because technology continually disappoints me. You know, it's always breaking down. It's always causing me the most problems. It takes up the most part of my day when it does go down. You know, and I usually used to like things that went down on me. You know, so. <laughs> well, and technology doesn't seem like uh, it's supposed to. Most of the stuff is supposed to save time, and it seems like it just creates more things to do. Well, you know what it does? It actually creates a distance between people. Because if you get on a subway here in New York, and then you look at everybody on the subway, what are they doing? They're all they're looking all their at phones. their. They're looking at their phones, even though they're not getting cell service down there. They're still looking at their phone. Okay, I got to stop this a second, no. ladies and gentlemen. I got to stop this because uh, there is it's uh, it's in mono is what I don't get. How about my other stuff? Is it in stereo when I do it? Okay, I just want I gotta I gotta get this working right. Uh, yeah, Spotify. Well, that's fine. It's just that, for instance, the uh, the bubbles interview is in mono uh, and, and and one channel. And I, I have no idea what that's about, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, boy. I, you, do you mind if it's on one channel? Okay. We'll put it on one channel, and uh, you can live with that. Okay? I guess. That's the way we can do it. Okay. I'll start it again. Ladies and gentlemen, out to San Francisco, California. The city so nice they named it once. See, we say about New York, the city so... Nice. They named it twice. New York, New York. Uh, it's Larry Brown. Hello, Lawrence. Yes, the last Amish person in San Francisco. The last Amish person in San Francisco. I, you know, he. I got his uh, phone message, and it said, "I'll call you right back." And I'm just trying to figure out how you call them right back, because you're. Uh, uh, you 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 don't you. You have a phone, but it's an old flip phone. It's not I a mo modern yeah. cell phone. So obviously you don't get a message uh, on your phone or it doesn't send it to your phone. So tell them how you get your messages. Well, I just have to think. I wonder if I got a message. So I call in like every couple of hours mm -hmm. just to check the answering machine. And uh, the good thing is nobody calls the landline anymore. So I don't. I probably get two messages a week on this thing. 
Yeah, well, what I would do if I were you is change the message to I'll get right back to you. <laughs> I'll get back to you soon would probably be the real answer. Yeah, right. <laughs> Am I giving you a bad time because of your Ludditeness? You don't like my Ludditeness because you've always been on the cutting edge of technology and I'm the other end. I hate, you know something, though? There, there's something wrong with being on the cutting edge of technology because technology continually disappoints me. You know, it's always breaking down. It's always causing me the most problems. It takes up the most part of my day when it does go down, you know. And I usually used to like things that went down on me. You know, so. <laughs> well, and technology doesn't seem like uh, it's supposed to, most of the stuff is supposed to save time, and it seems like it just creates more things to do. Well, you know what it does? It actually creates a distance between people. Because if you get on a subway here in New York and then you look at everybody on the subway, what are they doing? They're all they're looking their at their, they're looking at their phones, even though they're not getting cell service down there. They're still looking at their phones. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like um, they used to read books, actually, but they're not anymore. Sometimes they're reading books, but very rarely. They're looking at kitty videos and things like that, you know. So... The question is that I, I you, you remember me, I embraced the new technology. I looked forward to the future that I was going to live because it was the future that I was guaranteed by science fiction and everything else. You were the first person I knew that had a cell phone. Yeah. And now that promise has turned into a fucking nightmare. What has all this technology brought us? Identity theft being a large amount of that. If you're just on a annoying basis, uh, robocalls. Robocalls. <laughs> you know, this is what it has brought us. This is what it has come to. You know, that you have to watch out for people who are going to rob you of your identity and steal from your bank because everything is online. And it's really... It, like, I was talking to my business manager about credit cards being uh, compromised. And he said to me, he doesn't have a single client who at one time or another hasn't had his credit card compromised. Wow. And it's all because of this wonderful modern technology we have. So. Which is also, let's you think of the business as technology is destroyed, like newspapers, um but look, uh, that I don't exactly think they were destroyed. They simply went to another medium. Uh, you know, the method of communication and the method of transmission is going to change throughout history. Right. All right? So, I mean, you can't, uh, you can't avoid that. Uh, I mean, everything that we knew that existed probably doesn't exist now because of the Internet. Uh, Sears, <laughs> you know, good example. Um, the mall, malls are almost, they don't exist anymore, you know. If they do, they're, they're kind of scuzzy and nobody goes to them. Why should they? They can order from Amazon. Mm -hmm. So, you know, am, am, I, am I wrong? No, and it's... Uh... It has come on rather quickly because if you look at, uh, if you watch the reruns of Seinfeld, no one has a cell phone, <laughs> and that's yeah. not that old. <laughs> I mean, personal entrepreneurship is now limited to being online. You know, uh, it used to be you opened up a store downtown. Yeah. Mom's Bakery. You know, well, there's still things that the internet can't do. I mean, I don't think I can actually go shopping for food online. I mean, yes, I can go to Amazon, they have Whole Foods. Uh, but uh, you know, they don't deliver that fast. It's like I want maybe I want my food now. Maybe I want to go down the street and buy a hot dog, you know? You can't do that online. Right. So there are certain things that are, are online proof, but there are other things that aren't, and that's most things. And uh, I just, you know, I mean, I feel guilty now every time I order from Amazon. Yeah. As you should. They're, uh, they're the high-tech Walmart. 
No, they're better than Walmart. I mean, I don't know if you've been to Walmart, but I yeah. have. Yes. God, you know. There's no it, it, uh, online Amazon doesn't have an old man greeting you, you know. So uh, it. You know, well, Bezos. Bezos, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I, I just, uh, I, I embraced all this new technology, and I wanted, uh, I, I saw the world, the future of the world, like the, like I read it in science fiction when I grew up in the fifties. I mean, I dreamed that I would live this long to see what I would see, and what I see now is very, very ugly. Yeah. It's not the promise of the future. Like, for instance, you want. I've said this before, I'll say it again. What science fiction said I would have by now, and I don't have, is a robot butler. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a robot housekeeper at your place? <laughs> I can get The closest you come to it is a Roomba. <laughs> you know, so I I still have a cleaning woman, so I can't I can't really replace her in the task that she does, right? So mm -hmm. Anyway. Well, I read the uh, people are, you know, the fast food places are getting these screens now where you go in and tap your order in there, and people are actually revolting because they think it's replacing human workers, so they're not using them. Uh, I, you know, I mean, yeah. I mean, but what, we're, what uh, technology is doing is replacing human workers. No question yeah. about it. What do we do to prevent that? Nothing. Is, can you think of anything we can do to prevent that? They were trying to, uh, I think, trying to outlaw certain robotic things in San Francisco. Like. Yeah, but that's San Francisco. Yeah. You know, um, you know San Francisco uh, made it uh, a, a, a law that you had to eat kale at least once a day. <laughs> that's <you know>. true. <laughs> so, I mean... Well, if you had the... Uh, but if you have nobody has a job, how do the how are they going to have money to well, buy? Well, that that's been my question. You know what what it's doing is it is putting out of work the poorer people in this country. I mean, yeah, where are they going to work? Where are they going to get jobs? What are they going to do? You know, before they could get some decent form of living, like you know, working at Sears and Roebuck as an example, but they can't do that anymore. You know, I mean, even the Walmart, I think, is hurting because of all yeah. of this. Um, the only company that I know that isn't really hurting, and I shop there every week, is Costco. But they set up a a, um, a method of operation that people are embracing. You know, you, and and they have good good food. Prices are reasonable, uh, uh, and all of that. And they, you know, they're reasonable because, do you know how Costco makes their money? Their main profit center is the, uh, is the subscriptions, the memberships. Really? Yes. They've got like 50 million members at uh, over oh, about $100 a month. Think about it. You know, oh, right shit. there. That, that's, uh, you know... Um, Fifty million. Fifty times million. Yeah. Holy Christ! Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, incredible amount of people. <clears throat> so they then only jump their prices up fifteen percent. And by the way, they pay their people well. I mean, not great, but well. Mm -hmm. They start at thirty-five thousand dollars a year, and the president of the company doesn't take more than three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Well, that's shocking. Well, uh, they, that's the way they operate. You know, they're a somewhat ethical company. All their employees, I think even the part-timers, uh, have health insurance. So, I mean, uh, I don't mind shopping there. Yeah, they're good. I, I think the quality is kind of wavering a little bit. You know, the, the thick slice bacon is getting thinner, you know. But uh, uh, I still like their ethics. You know, and I, I think they're an ethical company, and, and that those are the kind of people we should do business with. You know, right? On the other hand, Walmart, <laughs> forget them. You know, they've been just you know they've been the worst employers in the world for a while. They were sending their people when their people uh, they were paying their people shit wages, and when their people needed money, they would send them tell them how to go and get food stamps. 
Yeah, so we're subsidizing them. Yeah, they actually had a person, an HR person, who would give you the information on how to get <laughs> food stamps and you know, get on welfare. That's pathetic. Yeah, so really, you and we're I... We're paying for them. We were subsidizing Walmart. Yeah. Those fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> so I, I have a thing, you know, obviously against Walmart, and I'm, I'm, I'm pro Costco. I think that they're a very ethical company. Now I'll tell you another place that I found that companies are competing. Okay, um, I buy my electronics most of them on, on Amazon, right? delivered to me within a day if I want it that way, or within two days if I want it that way, or within three days if I really want it that way, okay? And I don't have to go downtown to shop, and I don't have to go to the store. And do, 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 do. Well, I found out something. Um, if I go into Best Buy, and I see an item, an electronic item I want, I then go online to Amazon and see what they're charging. And then I simply go up to the counter and I say, here's what Amazon's charging, and that's what they're going to charge me. Best Buy meets Amazon's prices, even though they don't charge Amazon's prices. Wow. And, and so I have found, in many cases, like when I'm buying a TV set or something, I bought a TV set on Amazon, I came, and the screen was smashed. So the next day, I, call, I, I got online to Best Buy and said, I want to this TV set I said how much is it going to cost and they were matching the Best Buy price and so I said okay send it to me and they delivered it the next day with two guys who helped inst who installed it and made sure it was working now how can I how can Amazon beat that yeah that's amazing you know so I always think if I need an electronic item of of check, it used to be that you went to Best Buy because it was the showroom for Amazon. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. Check it out there and buy it from Amazon. <laughs> now you go to Amazon to see what the price is, and then you go to Best Buy and tell them what the price is, and they give it to you. So I I started shopping at Best Buy for that reason. I didn't know, that, I didn't know they would. Uh, Sticker like that. That's great. Well, I mean, you know, obviously they can, they'll take less money, but they can charge what uh, uh, Amazon charges because, you know, they, they're getting it for the same price that Amazon gets it for. You know, they're a big company. They have a lot of stores. So, I mean, it, it's, um, that, that's a company I think that has found a model for competing. I'd be surprised if tomorrow I read they were going bankrupt and out of business. Okay, mm -hmm. because they they handle it pretty good, you know, uh, and uh, so they, there's a company that's competing, but you know everything else. Uh, newspapers are being really hard hit, you know. Uh, the only reason we subscribe to the newspaper, we subscribe to it on the weekends, so we get the digital edition for free of the New York Times. So, whatever, you know, it it's just. The days of sitting down with the newspaper at breakfast is a thing of the I past. Like, I like newspapers, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, you don't have an iPhone or any kind of smartphone. Uh, you don't have an iPad, you know, which I think, I honestly believe if you had these things, you would you would start using them and embracing them, uh, you know. But what can I say, Larry? Now but I they do, but they do. They rape your privacy. Yeah. They they well they they don't rape your privacy. Other people rape your privacy. They simply have sold you a phone. And uh, and I have to admit, I mean, people like Apple do everything they can to keep your phone secure and so on. But still, you know. But don't they track everywhere you go and what you buy? And yeah, yeah. Well, th th that happens. Uh, although Apple seems to think or, or seems to say they don't do that. You know, so who knows? Who knows? But, uh, you know, so there, there's the future for you. Uh, everybody's stealing from you and there's no robot butler. <laughs>
We've seen the future, and it does not work. Well, what, what movie is that from? Yeah, well, did you ever look forward to the future, or were you just always the person who lived in the past? I always lived in the past. Really? Yeah, even as, like, I remember as a teenager, yeah, I missed the, missed, the, missed the good old days of being five, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, um, don't you feel that there's something good about all of this? I mean, for instance, let me give you an example of something really good. Taking money out of the bank. Mm-hmm. Use your ATM card, right? That's good. That's really good. Because remember when you used to have to wait till the bank opened up or you had to oh, get there before it closed? Yeah. You know. Today, banking's 24 hours. You can go. It'll spit the money out to you at 3 o'clock in the morning. Of course, it's probably well, got in the prob- queue. That was but, probably built on the people need a cocaine. That's why they came up with ATM. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it, they should have just been dispensing bindles of coke. <laughs> you know. Um, but that's pretty good if you think about it. I mean, you know. Um, uh, I remember I used to, here in New York, uh, I used to work overnight. So I got off at 6 in the morning. So if it was payday and I had to deposit my check, because in those days you deposited your check. Hey, kids, I'm an old guy, okay? You deposited your check. I had to wait till 9 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't go to sleep. I had to stay up so I can get to the bank at 9 o'clock when it opened up to deposit my check. Or I could go to sleep and set the alarm so I was awake before 3 o'clock in the afternoon when it closed Mm -hmm. down. Today, and then you went there, and, and, of course, you had the pen with the chain on it, and the pen never worked. So <laughs> I don't know pen. why they feel anybody would want to steal that pen, so you had to bring a pen with you. <laughs> then you had to fill out the, the, the thing, and then you had to go to the teller and give her the... If, folks, you younger kids out there, listen to me. This is what it was like, you know. If you uh, took a picture, you had to send it in to get developed. Exactly. Exactly. That would take days. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Well, no. Uh, then it got down to three hours. Three-hour photo. Three-hour photo. Or one-hour photo got really good. But the problem with one-hour photo was, let's say you took a picture of you and your girlfriend fucking. Let's just say. Because it wasn't digital then. It was emulsion, okay? And you would go to these one-hour photos, and the photos they were developing, they had in the window. Do you remember that? Yeah, <laughs> and and the 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 uh, the pictures would keep coming down, so you could see everybody else's pictures. It, it, it talk about identity theft. And one time, I'm sitting there watching. You no, know what we were doing? We we're doing a TV show. We were doing Alex Bennett Wired again. I think it was that, or it was something else. But anyway, we were doing a live shot, and we were shooting in the window one of these one hour photo places. And the um, the photos start coming down and coming down and coming down. And all of a sudden, there's a guy getting a blowjob. <laughs> and we're videotaping it. <laughs> so I remember broadcasting it and blurring it out and me going, whoa, look at that. <laughs> you know. But, uh, uh, you know, now, now, of course, everything, photos. You used to take a photo and say, how, much, I mean, how many more uh, uh, pictures do I have on this roll? Okay? Today, people take pictures of their, you know, of everything constantly. And I think probably if we were to go across the great width of America and the, and the world, we could probably find that every single second of this century is being photographed somewhere. Yeah, that's a good point. And maybe Dr. more Penny. so. Maybe more so. Yeah, maybe every millisecond. And so there is this continual record of what's going on being shot by people who don't know they're photographing what's continually going on. So, I mean, it, it, and, and of course they're digital, so unless uh, you lose the file or unless it gets corrupted... Uh, that you've got that picture forever in that quality. It's amazing, you know. Oh, am I waxing poetic? Have I lost you, Larry? Yeah, <laughs> your audio is cutting out. On oh. you, 
you're coming in and out. Oh, I don't know why I'm going in and out. Well, when we're through with this call and the next call, we'll I'll recall you. Um, but anyway, so so you know. Um, but I, you'd t- I remember uh, ten years ago, Robin Williams showed up at the punchline with Dave Chappelle, and they both got on stage, and a rapper named Most Def came down. Yeah. All three of them were on stage, and at the end of the evening. Molly, who runs the punchline, just said, oh, my God, nobody has a camera. We got no pictures. Nobody had smartphones then. That was only like 11 years ago. Wow. That must have been something to see. That was a great night, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Dave Chappelle, Mo's, Mo's deaf, uh, and, yeah, and uh, Robin. And Robin. Wow. And how? And it's not, not one picture. And not one picture. Was there a recording made, maybe? No, nothing. Today, uh, you'd have pictures like crazy of that. Oh, my God. And you'd probably even have the audio. Yeah. Somebody probably surreptitiously was running his audio on his, on, his, on his phone. Although, do they allow at those clubs, they allow people to use uh, self, uh, take pictures? They have a pretty uh, firm uh, policy about, no, if you, you're going to get kicked out if you pull the phone out in the middle of a show. Yeah. Uh, 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 I would kick people out if their cell phone started ringing. You know? Yeah, they do that. Too. How do you go That's into really a, how do you go into a venue, any venue, and not turn your phone off? I mean, what what's the thinking behind that? And then you're sitting in a movie theater, and the person next to you is it, even worse, sending texts. Or you, I, I hear people talking in theaters on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I had one person is going, yeah, I'm at the movies yeah. right now with the kid. Yeah. So how are you? How are you? <laughs> you know, it wasn't like even like I'll call you back. It was, <laughs> how are you? And finally, uh, I went, would you please uh, uh, turn that thing off? And the person gave me, it started yelling at me. Like I had done something wrong. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you, you Fucking motherfucking cocksucker, and <laughs> and I only re- I only reserve that statement for people on cell phones and Donald Trump. So you know, well, remember the uh, the first victim of the cell phone was uh, Michael Richards. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I you know uh, today in this day and age, I don't know why anybody would send pictures, send dick pics, or anything like that. Because it's all going to come back to haunt you. Yeah, or, or if you're drunk, you get on your Twitter account. And, and it will really haunt you if you've got a small dick. <laughs> you know. I mean, look at Anthony Weiner. Guy lost his complete political career because he couldn't keep from sending women dick pics. Mm-hmm. And even when he got caught and he went to rehab and he did all that, he came back and took more dick pics, you know. I mean, come on. The guy was a stupid asshole. Yeah. You know, so anyway. Hey, listen, it's uh, looking like we're running out of time. Well, I mean, not, 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 the, uh, not on our... Luddite. Not with our whole life, but just, you know, for the time being. Uh, and uh, I would love to talk to you again in about another week, if you don't mind. We will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the presence, the person, the Luddite who will eschews any kind of technology handed to him, and he's been offered every bit of technology, (laughs) the Luddite Larry Bubbles Brown. Thanks, Larry. Thank you, Alex. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, all right, okay. I screwed up like crazy tonight. What the hell? I, I don't know why that audio was in mono. It was I mean why it was on one channel. It was it wasn't on two channels. So I don't know if he, if he could hear it fine. If not, I'll fix it when we do it next week. I I have no idea what that was about. I I recorded it on two channels. Then yeah, you know, I give up. I give up. Just isn't isn't worth the uh, the effort anymore. You know, I'm beginning to think I should uh, give it all up. All right. Uh, but I don't give it all up. I just to go to the phones and hope that people will call me and, you know, we'll have a uh, we'll have a, uh, uh, a little rousing time together, hopefully. Um, and so the lines are now open. So if you want to call me, call me. I 
really feel bad about that because I, I, I want the show to go perfectly. Last night, the Ronnie interview at the very end fucked up. Uh, tonight, this was in mono. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's, it's just frustrating. It's completely frustrating. And, and I, I don't need it to tell you the damn truth. I, maybe I should just give it all. I should give up on the whole damn thing. All right? Do I say that too often and then I never do? Here comes, uh, here comes uh, Phil. Let me see here. Let me, let me put Phil on the, uh, on the, um, uh, uh, the thing here. There we go. There's Phil. All right. Okay. How and you doing? There we go. There you go, Phil. How are you? All uh, right. Here, 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 hey, here, I, wait, uh, hold, on, hold on a second. Here comes Charlie right. Wallace. So I've got to somehow, well, I brought him in, but he isn't in. Uh, I got a thing from, uh, uh, from, uh, oh, here, here we go. Here, here we go. Here, there, he's on the, he, we'll keep him in the bottom spot there. Turn off your, uh, your, your you're slapping back on me, Charlie. Uh, oh, I am? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you seem to be okay now. Yeah. We'll keep that center space open because somebody else will call him. We'll put him right in there so we don't have to do Charlie. His space was taken up. Um, what were you going to say, uh, Phil? Well, I, I've got here the uh, Encyclopedia of Common Diseases. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found uh, endopathic uh, pulmonary toxic pollen disease. Mm. Uh, and uh, you have all the symptoms. So it, it's right here in the book. And... Uh, well, you won't have to worry about it because in two weeks, I'm, I'm, it'll, I'm, it'll, it'll I'm, be over. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. That's good. That's good. That's good to know. Uh, hey, uh, I also discovered something else. Um, CBD uh, extra strength body cream. Now, I tried smoking it first. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> after uh, Faye rubbed it on my uh, foot where I have the arthritis and on my hand where I have the arthritis, mm -hmm. this shit actually works. Mar Marjorie's been using it. Uh, you know, uh, my rolfer told me about it and showed me which one to get. And uh, this is extra strength, you know, so uh, it does... It works. I, you know, I don't understand. You know, I don't well, know I how said, long it's going to work. I said Marjorie uses it too, and she yeah. says it seems to help somewhat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I have arthritis. There, there is some argument as to whether CBD isn't phony. You know. Well, yeah, but uh, I mean. Well, it, uh, it, well, uh, how much of that is you believing it's working? Well, I was super skeptical and didn't think it was going to work. Oh, you, you didn't think it was going to work. Doesn't. No, so it, it, there was no hope that it was going to work. I thought it was. I, know, I, how said, long it's I, said, work. I said Marjorie uses it too. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, oh, Jeff, you got to turn your audio down. Yep. Uh, you know, I have arthritis. There, there is some argument as to what. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Well, yeah, but uh, uh, I mean, well, uh, it, well, uh, uh, how much Jeff, you you've got to turn off the audio from the show. Skeptical <sighs> and didn't think it was going to work. Don't yell. Didn't think and. It uh, no. So it, it, there was no hope, Jeff. Oh, geez. There's I, a I feed can't, I can't, I can't. on the Jeff. Re relax. Please. Sit back, Alex. Let no, me help. No, no, no. Right. You, you can say you can help, but you know, it's, okay. It seems to be all right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. And also, we need to see more of your face, Jeff, because uh, you've got a white background, so we can barely see you. Yeah. Look how tan Jeff looks. <laughs> yeah. In Florida? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Where are you, Jeff? Now uh, your muted. mic is muted. And the mic is <laughs> muted. I'm at the north end of New York State. The north really? end of New York State. Okay. They, they, oh, there. Uh, now, now that you've moved the camera, we can see you. You're, yeah. where, where is the north end of New York State? Um, it's Ithaca. Ith Ithaca? Ithaca. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And uh, my granddaughter's thinking about going to college. Oh, okay. And so, that, where's Cornell? Is that up there? Yes, right. Yeah. Same place. I see. Okay. Same. So you're up doing the, you're doing the college tour with the kid. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Nice. I remember when because Tony Soprano Pam. did that. He murdered Pam somebody. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
Pam went to school there. Oh, okay. All right. So it would be a nice thing all the way around. Uh, what, what do they call that, a legacy? Uh, yeah, so if the, the mother or uh, uh, went, went to school there or the father and then, you know, the child wants to go, they, they call it a legacy. Yeah. And, uh, and that and $500,000 will get your kid into the college. That's yeah, and, and, but you got to get a picture of yourself on the swim team. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> we, we can we, we can we can arrange for that. Imagine yeah. me in a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Some of us don't have to worry about legacies. So anyway, I well I I've been having trouble here in my ch up in my upper throat here. It's just been bothering me, thrashing me, and I think I figured out what the problem is. No, 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 no. I figured out what that problem is, okay? Yeah. Every night before I go to sleep, okay, I smoke some pot, okay? It really? Because it puts me to sleep, all right? But in a couple of weeks ago, a friend sent us something, sent us a vape thing yeah. with these cartridges <laughs> that go in it with the pot, and it's like flavored, Okay. So I've been trying <laughs> that, and my all of a sudden, this has gotten irritated. Yeah. And I think it's from the vaping. Hey, you know, another way to fall asleep is just rub one off. No, you no. Know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. Somebody, no. Oh, somebody touched something. Not again. Uh, uh, Jeff. Uh, it's did, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, you Jeff. did it again. Jeff. You, you, you know the Come share screen? Huh? The share screen thing, oh, Jeff? Oh, Jesus. Uh -huh. uh, well, you pressed it. You might want to hang up and call back in because I don't know how to fix that. I will. All right. Yeah. Oh, you probably don't have to turn off the machine. Uh, yeah. All right. uh, there's a, a, there's a, a Tony. Yeah. Oh, boy. You know. Well, I, you're I, back I, to normal. I'm, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it all. Okay? It's just oh. getting to be too much for me. Embrace yeah. it. Huh? Embrace, as uh, uh, Patrick would say, embrace the suck. Embrace the suck. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, no. What 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 happens, folks, is, uh, and now we got to get uh, we get to we bring, uh, I'll, uh, is is what happens is, is there's a thing. Where is it? It's down along the bottom or something, isn't it? Yeah, it's something about share screen or. It, as uh, under, I, I, is it more, more options? No. Uh, no, yeah. I, I think there's a heart, and then to the left of the uh, heart, yeah. at least on my yeah, computer. Yeah, share screen. Yeah. yeah. And he always hits that, and then but, all of a sudden everybody gets what he has on his screen. Yeah. And it's. It, well, he's a generous guy. He just likes to share. Well, I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, Jeff, when you call up, just don't touch the screen after that, okay? <laughs> just don't click on anything. You know. Don't touch me there. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm very, I have a very short fuse tonight with all of this, you know. Because I start off and, and Bubs is in, in on one channel. And I can't get that to be, I can't figure out what that's being caused by. And, you know, last night I had problems with an interview with Ronnie. And I, I you know, I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just completely frustrated. Well, how can, uh, is Bubs on the phone? Is Larry on the phone yeah. when he calls? Yeah. All right. Well, isn't that a monaural kind of thing? Yes, it is. But I don't know why the, why, when I recorded it, it came out as one channel. It shouldn't uh -huh. have. It shouldn't have. So yeah. now I have to take the other interview I did for him that was going to run next week, make sure that is on both channels, and if it's not, I'm going to have to somehow convert it. You know, how I do that, I have no idea. But, you know, fuck it. Well, it might be interesting if you were on one channel and he was on the other channel, and this way it uh, you know, went back and no, forth. No, no, we were all, the whole interview was on you one channel. It was on two, two channels. On one yeah. channel. Uh, it was supposed to be on two. Yeah, it was supposed to be on two. Yeah. Well, maybe you touched the screen where you weren't supposed I to. I have no idea. And, and is Jeff calling back or? Uh, well, he's rebooting. He's rebooting. He didn't yeah. have to reboot. He just had to I, quit I, Skype. I, I, yeah, we tried to tell him. Yeah. yeah. Well, he struck his Facebook. You're gonna have to flunk Jeff and Facebook. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> circulating in college. He's yeah. trying very hard. You can't beat him up over it. No, I, I no, but. 
he always makes that same mistake, and he should know what he's doing. Yeah. Well, you know, it's he's like, cons- this is about there's, the fifth, there's a benefit to that. This is about the fifth time this has happened. I know. The, the benefit is he's consistent, and that's good in a person. Well, all we had to do was tell him to go down there at the bottom and just click on that again, and it would go yeah. away. I used to tell my girlfriend that. But why? No. You know why? <laughs> this is what I don't understand. Why it, 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 these guys at Skype? They go, "Oh, let's do this. This will be a nice thing we can do. People can share their screen." Well, to begin with, what's the fucking purpose of sharing your screen? All right. Uh, if they share the screen, can you can you take over their screen, or you're just uh, uh, all, all I know is I wish there were a way on my, our end that when he did that, we could undo it, and we can't. Oh, uh, you know, I wonder if he can, because in his circle, mm-hmm. uh, there was a, a share screen icon. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Just like when you mute somebody, yeah. or if somebody mutes, there's that mute icon. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're able to mute other people. Why not? be able to undo the share screen. Yeah, well, I mean, but the other problem is I can mute any one of you. Yeah, you know? but I can unmute myself. And then you can unmute yourself, but you can mute me. Yeah. You know, you and should... sometimes I want to. And Maybe if, if to I am control. the person running the Skype here, being yeah. the administrator of the Skype, mm-hmm. then I should be able to undo anything. I should be able to override everything. Well, I, I don't think people... anyone should be able to mute ex, uh, uh, or unmute except yeah. the administrator. And these people at Skype, they wrote me today at Skype. They've been keeping really? me up to date saying, oh, we've just uh, updated Skype and uh, let us know whether you're having problems. Well, I still get missed call. You should send them a picture of Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I still get missed call. Yeah. Poor Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I mean, how, why, how he winds up hitting that? It's all the way at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, it's tough to do. You're right. How would you do that over yeah. and over again? Yeah, uh, you move the cursor. Yeah, and but he's then right. You, you press go the button. To the bottom now. Well, if I did that to you, what would happen? I don't know. Huh? Mm-hmm. How, and how uh, do you? Uh, is this mute or scare uh, or s- share, share screen? screen? How do you undo it? Uh, I beats me. Yeah. See, I mean, but it's. Skype, you used to be just so easy to use. I didn't turn my light on in the back. Uh, it used to be so easy to use. And now you've, like, fucked us over, you know? Yeah, well, you still got a show. Yeah. And uh, you still, you know, it you increase it. the ability to, you know, what you're doing is it's much more sophisticated than it was in the beginning. Well, I mean, I've made it more sophisticated here with the screen and everything like that, you know, and the way it it, uh, it uh, shows itself up here, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, uh, and I've I've sophisticated it, but the the bottom line is, and yeah, you know, like for instance, what he was doing, people are going, what what was it Jeff did? You didn't see it, folks, because it doesn't come up on my screen. It only comes up on Skype. And then he pushes like the share screen, and then all of a sudden we're seeing what's on his desktop. Right. You know. Well, what the, what is the purpose of that? And shouldn't it be harder for people to do that? That should not be that easy a function. Well, let's say somebody has something on their screen and they want to share it with the group. That's fine. I understand. But why make it so easy to do? They should have to go up somewhere and brings down a you know. Go up to the list on the top or something. In other words, don't make it that easy that somebody can accidentally hit that. Well, maybe Skype is just improving itself and making things easier to do. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. No, what this is, this is like a uh, uh, technician's, uh, uh, techno guy's wet dream. Okay. Oh, what if I can make it so people can see everybody else's screen and all they have to do is touch? Fuck you. What is that fucking heart down there? You like what you're seeing? Oh, you want to? I, I don't know what the heart is. Oh, either. here I, I can. I can send a. Uh, uh, there we go. Do you see that? The crying thing. Did you yeah. see it? See. Is that the heart? Yeah, that's from the heart. If I want to. Oh, hey, look! I'm going to start laughing now. Ha ha ha. Nobody, you anything. folks watching the show can't see that. It's going on on Skype. Yeah. But is, that, is, is that, what is the purpose of that? So you can fucking annoy everybody you're talking to? 
Yeah. Oh, oh hey, I'm having a really uh, 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 shitty time here. You know? <laughs> I mean, I, I, what? The worst thing um, ever invented were emoticons. <laughs> yeah. And there's all sorts of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they've got them that uh, look oh, like spaceships. Well, well, don't, and let me, hands. don't let me get, let them have any, get any ideas over there at, at Skype, but they've only got five emoticons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and uh, please don't add any more. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, in the FAQs. It's fine the, it's fine the way it is. Okay. Yeah. In the FAQs for uh, uh, Skype, mm -hmm. uh, there was a thing in there that says uh, Alex Bennett helped uh, sh with the share screen, and they did it for you. Oh, I see. So, okay. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Oh, boy. You know. Uh, I mean, so. Yeah. So I can't smoke this, and it was twenty bucks for two ounces. Really? Holy smoke! Yeah, because it was extra strength. Yeah. Uh, is is Jeff going to call back? I don't know. Yeah. Why don't you call him? Uh huh? I could call him, but I don't think uh, I don't He'd think I answer. can actually. Uh -huh. uh, let me see here. here. Where's the plus? There we go. And Jeff Stein. And then I can add him, and we'll call him and see if he picks up. You know, um, I, I don't know. Well, here comes Alan. Uh, All right. Who is our? Uh, uh, who is uh, uh, getting to be a regular? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let hey, me... Yonkers is in the house. Oh, not Yonkers. Yonkers. Yorktown. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Con... Just a little further north. Would you live in Triad Circle? <laughs> Wait a minute. You hold know, on a second. Let there, me. Uh, there was a Triad oh, okay, Circle hold on in Continental a Village. Hold on a second. Yes, there is. How's the weather up right there? Where is he? Oh, there. My friend Bruce lived there and Christian Smyzak. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. I don't know them. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't want that. I wanted Charlie. Charlie in jail. And, and number three, I wanted Charlie. Oh, this is. Oh, you don't uh, want me to watch no, no, I'm going to move you into. I'm moving you into Jeff's place because Jeff isn't calling back. So, yeah, um, uh, let me see here. Uh, where is that? Okay, I should have my glasses on, but I don't. So, you know, there we go. Now we got the uh, we got uh, four people there, and if Jeff calls, we'll we'll put put him back in there. You know, uh, but I, you know, I. So I, I don't, you know, I, I just get really mad at people like, like Skype because they, they, they think they're improving something, and they really didn't. You know, the old Skype was very easy to use, very intuitive. You know, you just called and people talked, you talked to them. Somebody else called, you add them to the call. You know, the difference is what? the old Skype wasn't yeah. owned by Microsoft. The oh. original Skype was Skype. Yeah, and then when Microsoft bought them, the engineers needed to justify their. Actually, existence. it was something else. After it was Skype, it was owned by somebody else. I can't remember who. And then Microsoft bought it from them, and then Microsoft mm -hmm. said, "We just bought Skype, which is a perfect telecommunication system. How can we fuck it up?" Yeah, <laughs> and they said, "Well, let's sit down and figure this one out." Oh, good. Share screen. Boom, boom, baba. You know. I didn't say, under the old Skype, they had a share screen, believe it or not. But it wasn't as easy for you to do it. You know. Yeah. You had to go through a couple of things in order to get it done. So, yeah. Am I complaining too much there, uh, Al? Absolutely. What else? What, what, it, what would it, be? it wouldn't be the Alex Bennett show. Without yeah, if that. I wasn't complaining. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I, I, I was using this vaping thing with the pot, right? And that's why I think my throat has been thrashed because last night I did three hits on it before I went to sleep. And I woke up at 7 o'clock this morning and was finding it hard to go back to sleep, so I took another three hits of it, you know. When you use this vape thing, yeah. Uh, do you feel as if you're uh, ingesting or, or, or getting the, uh, the stuff in? Uh, you know, I once used something called a rebreather. It's for scuba diving. Yeah. And uh, it's a closed circuit. And I didn't feel as if the air was going in because I couldn't feel like a draft of anything. And I sucked so hard. Yeah. It actually, I hurt my 
throat yes. or chest. I, I don't know. If, uh, hold on a second. Uh, Kevin, we can't see your face because it's so low you look like Kilroy was here. It looks like, uh, what's his name is there calling. You go. Yeah, there we go. There's our... There's so, a, so, so when I when I sucked on that thing because it just didn't feel like I was getting air in, mm -hmm. although I was. Uh, it, uh, I wonder if the vape things are like that. No, it, 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 it I, I noticed a little uh, a harshness that hit my throat, but it may have because it's got this uh, like pineapple flavor. Is this one? It's got like it's flavored, and I think those mm. flavors are irritating. You know. Do they have carbs? No. Pineapple. No. <laughs> no. But, you know, I mean, I thought, I mean, let me, let's face it, a, a, a vaping in order to smoke a joint is the height of technology, where you just have this thing, it's electric, you know, and, and then, of course, the vape smoke comes out after you do it, and that's fine, <laughs> except I didn't even do it. He doesn't know what happened. <laughs> Uh, it, uh, you know, it just made a, for a, for a uh, I think it irritated my throat. Because as the day has gone on, it's gotten better. Mm. Okay. But, so you can't blame this on pollen? No, no. Oh, but anyway, the other bad. day, you know, I had a, I went to my doctor because I wasn't feeling well with all this. Okay. Which may have been something to do with the vape. And uh, I had gone to the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? City MD, the walk-in place, and they oh, and, and they gave me an uh, an EKG, and of course the EKG, which always happens with me, came out all cattywampus. Uh, so he said, "You better go to your doctor." So I call my doctor up, and he sees me the next morning. He's a cardiologist. Um, his main thing is cardiology, but he also works as a you know. As a janitor, as a uh, what do you call it, doctor? Your you know your general practitioner. General practitioner, and uh, so he he, he checks out. He says, yeah, I show him the I, since I had the EKG, I figured he didn't have to do it. I said, here. And he says, yeah, that's you. That's your that's your your heart always does that. You have a little heart oh. murmur because of the stenosis. He said, but let's just check your heart just to make sure. And let's do another echocardiogram. So he takes me in and he does the echocardiogram, uh, which is fun because you can hear various parts of your heart. They, they, he turns on the volume and you can hear it boom, 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 boom. And uh, he checks my heart. And this is the ultimate checking of the heart because it's checking everything. And he Alex, says, that he's, sound, hmm. it wasn't the heart. Yeah. It was Leonard Skinner. It, Leonard Skinner. Yeah. <laughs> no, but anyway, it was. Uh, he told me, he said, your heart's terrific. He says, you know, except for the, the uh, stenosis, he said, which has gone another two millimeters. It goes about a millimeter a year for you. He said, by the time another 50 years, uh, you'll, you'll have to have uh, uh, an a, a aortic He's, valve replacement. Uh, uh, my know. brother had it. Yeah. He said, so, you, you know, don't worry about it. He says, it's slow, so slow growing that your age, you should have a stenosis. You know. So, oh. You know, so I, that was fine. And he couldn't figure out what the rest of the problem was. He said, who knows, you know. But anyway, so I've, I've, been, I've been feeling tired every night. I like, you know, I, can't, I, I, I have a hard time getting through the two hours. Me. Is it? I don't know. Everybody says, oh, it's the weather. I don't know. You know, when it rains and the grass gets wet, it, it tires me from my allergies a little bit. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I feel like I get tired when it rains like that. Yeah, well, I, hold on a second. I have to blow my nose now that we're talking about allergies. I got my pills inside. I don't like to pop it. My allergies. Are... There we go. Ah. Well, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's terrible. Pollen is terrible this year. It is. It Does is it bother really... your eyes a lot too? Oh yeah. Yeah, I hate it. I used to put rags towel. I used to put a hot compress on my hot cold I put, compress. I get. I take uh, paper towels and I wet them and then I put them on my okay. eyes. You know, I do that with a rag, yeah. And then just lay on the floor, I lay on the bed. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. Maybe this is the reason Jews moved to Florida. I I I don't know. Um, you think you had no? Uh, how was pollen done? Do you think? I wonder if it is good. The what? I thought they moved to Arizona for the dryness. I don't think. Oh, I don't care uh, what they say. Vegas they moved to they moved to Miami for the warm. Where the isn't heat. Uh, okay, uh, Kevin? Where isn't there pollen? Do you know? Nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Right. 
Huh? What were you going to say? You got plants, you got pollen. What were you going to say, Charlie? Oh, Charlie's free. Yeah, just pollen everywhere. I never had any allergy problems until I moved to Arizona. Really? Yeah. It's probably the dryness. It's the desert problem. You know? Yeah. And I love yeah, it. You I got love, plants, I love you what, got pollen. I love what they say in, in Arizona. You go, I'm from, oh, isn't, isn't it 120 degrees there? They go, yeah, but it's a dry heat. Yeah. yeah, but it's still, hundred, it's still 120 <laughs> fucking egg. degrees. Dry heat means yeah, all it's dust. Like, it's and, like when you puke, you and, still got a dry and, heat, and, too. And, and listen, I am not going to even question the mentality of the Saudis or the Iraqis <laughs> or the Iranians when you see that during the summer, the average temperature is 135 degrees. How and does anybody have... live in that kind of weather without being nuts? Okay, just well, they stay inside. inside and that's where they, they want to kill everybody. They stay they inside, and down. then they shoot down a drone. Oh. Uh, you yeah, know, right. I mean, they got nothing else to do. No, no you, you know, gave me. I, 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 I am such. I am such a. Uh, what can we call it? Such a uh, a naysayer that I don't really believe the whole story about the. Um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, the, uh, the ships, the ships that got. Nope, oh. I think that's a phony deal. It's interesting what Trump is saying. He he said it may have been a mistake, and not intentional. Uh, you know, they well, showed uh, well, it was an intentional uh, it, launch. It is the first but, time I have seen him be reasonable. Yeah, and uh, and uh, and Pelosi is saying there must be a response, and Jeez. and Tom Cotton saying it must be a response. Uh, but uh, yeah, Trump is saying, "Hey, I, I don't. I think they shot it down, but it may have been in error." You know, I love this. It must have. Uh, yeah, and, and and the point is, it maybe was an error, but it was a two hundred million dollar error. Uh, they got a discount, one hundred and ten million. Uh, I say, okay. <laughs> it was one hundred and ten million. Yes, error. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 Al. The error was we intruded it on their territory. No, 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 no. Now we're claiming that we didn't, and they're claiming that we did. Yeah. But uh, if it was if possibly shot down uh, by a lower level person, and the government didn't actually order the the thing, okay. you know, maybe maybe Trump is being reasonable, and and you know everybody was afraid that he he'd have the football and his finger would be on the trigger. Well, we and, were all. And he's uh, the only I, one yeah. that's sitting back and saying, "Hey, let's look at this." I feel that he, what's gone on with Trump in the last day with this uh -huh. makes me a little more comfortable because he's not rushing off to war because a drone yeah. got shot down. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, we all thought he would immediately go to war. I think the reason he hasn't is he doesn't know how to go to war. Well, uh, he initially said while he was a candidate that uh, he didn't want to get into uh, <laughs> these kinds of conflicts uh, well, uh, quickly. You know? Yeah, yeah. So he was telling the truth again. Yeah. So the only place where I'm really bothered by him uh, uh, well, what does it say here? President Trump has pulled back from strikes against Iran late Thursday hours after approving them in retaliation for the downing of a drone. He pulled back from the strikes against Iran. So uh, that's where, where it stands. Which, you know, to me is a reasonable response, okay, I to not so. rush to judgment on it and to wait and see, uh, which I didn't think he had in him, okay? To be quite honest with you, but and it, maybe he still doesn't, and this is some other reason why he's doing this. I don't know because he likes dictators. I mean, yeah. No, I think there's a, another golf tournament at uh, Mar-a-Lago, and yeah. he wants he doesn't want to yeah. miss it. So, I had, by the way, have you seen the new uh, 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 designated survivor show on Netflix? I, I've seen that it's there. I haven't watched it. Uh, did you like that show when it was on ABC? I never watched. Oh, it. Oh, you never watched it? Oh. You should watch. It's a very good show, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I yeah. I like your recommendations on yeah. uh, you're, you're, things to watch. You're gonna, I you're gonna, hope you're not being you're facetious. Gonna, you're going to love this show. Yeah. yeah. You're going to just absolutely love it. Oh, do they uh, go after Trump? No, they don't go after Trump because Trump isn't president. This guy is. 
Well, but they do have to go after immigration. They go after uh, uh, drug companies. They go after a lot of stuff. They go after in this show. Yeah. Well, you mean the same kind of stuff that Trump yeah. likes to go after? Yeah. No, oh, okay. no, not the same stuff Trump wants to go after. Oh. Yeah. What's Trump oh. done about the drug companies? He just talked about it, and that was it. He hasn't done anything. Well, you know, it's a start. Hey, what, you know, start is talking about it? Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, it's better than what uh, Bush did, which was make a deal with them that they could charge the highest price, and that's what we pay. You know, uh, he's uh, what is he demanded that we uh, pay the same price that other countries are paying? And, uh, well, yeah, because we do pay, I think, higher prices here for the same drugs that are being sold to other countries cheaper. Right. But yeah. that's because those other countries won't take those drugs unless they are at a certain price. You know, the problem that we have in this country is that the largest single user of drugs in this country is Medicare. And Medicare is not allowed to negotiate with the drug companies on price. price. Mm. Now, that seems insane to me. They should be able to negotiate. And they, and they don't, you know. And I think now, a lot of the drug, believe it or not, a lot of the... Uh, the uh, medical plans uh, do negotiate. Yeah, I have Kaiser, and there's a, a drug I want for diabetes, and they won't give it to me because they say that it's they don't buy that drug, and they don't they don't have it in their pharmacy, or uh, and so it was a little bit of slapback coming somewhere. Let me let me just try yeah. turning everybody right. down for a second and see if we can. Are we better now? I think we're better. Uh, I, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So uh, anyway, what, what happens is I asked for this drug, and I saw that it was uh, $900 for two pens. It's like an EpiPen, but you stab yourself with it once a week, and it's supposed to control your A1C. Uh, are you familiar with it, Charlie? Uh, like Trulicity or uh, uh, the one that starts with a V? Victoza? Victoza, yeah. Uh, do you take it? Uh, I do. I used, you do. To, I used to know a guy named Victoza. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He had no neck. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. How do you guys? How do, now? Let me, Charlie. How would you get diabetes? Because you're not overweight. You don't have any of the. <laughs> no, you don't have any of the uh, uh, bad things that people do to themselves. How did you get diabetes like you did? Very bad in my youth. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, what? Were you fat? No, I was never fat. Well, because usually it, it, overweight people get diabetes a lot, but uh, also you can well, eat. Both a lot. of my parents were diabetic. Oh, really? So mm -hmm. it might be a family tree. Yeah. 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 You couldn't have got good hair. <laughs> by the way, by the way, in case people are yeah, wondering, got some hair. Come in, on. in case people are wondering about that square <laughs> right above Kevin, uh, that's Tony. He's out killing his mother. Okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, but he is muted. He, he is muted. Yeah. Um, we love the wallpaper. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, back to the to the drug. Mm -hmm. uh, they won't give it to me. So I, I wrote the guy, and I keep getting these off out of office things. But uh, I wrote and I said I want all my uh, history, uh, my records, and I said I'm going to start looking for another insurance company that will cover this drug. Uh, can you get an exception? And we'll see what they do. What do you mean an exception? Well, you got an exception for your IBS drug. And uh, you were able to get it. And then you were able even to get a discount uh, on it mm -hmm. uh, because of what you asked for. So yeah. I tried the same thing, but I haven't gotten yeah. a response yet. Yeah. Let me see here. I, you know, a few days ago, I turned off that sound every time somebody calls. And uh, it's back on again. I guess that's another wonderful thing they do over there. At, uh, Did you update? Huh? Did you update? It, it, what do you mean I update? Yeah, it's been updated. Yeah. No. Well, did you recently update since you turned off the sound? Uh, I, it updates itself. Oh, so maybe that yeah. turned the sound back on. That could be. Okay, now we should have. There we go. There's uh, there's uh, Patrick in the in the mix. Hello, Patrick. Good evening to you. Hi, and good evening to you as well. Let's see here. We have, uh, we have, uh, let me, let me tell you who we've got on the panel now as we go down. We've got Phil, who's got uh, no prostate. 
<laughs> and diabetes. Uh, we've got Tony, who's got a, uh, a mother. Uh, we've got uh, Al, what's your medical condition? <laughs> Old age. <laughs> Old age, okay. Uh, Patrick, of course, has nothing wrong with him. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just had a physical. You just had a physical, Tony? With the city, I, I was fine. My blood pressure, good, oh, weight, is, good. Is that so you can be an, a, a caregiver it's for your mother and get paid for it? I can't wait. I'm out. Next week's my last day. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. The last day. Did, did they hand. give you a stalker test or a, uh, you know, some <laughs> sort of. <laughs> they did my blood. Alex, when I was getting my drug test, I had to pee in a bottle. And I heard, and a guy actually did, would refuse to take the test because it was like a city type clinic. Yeah. And the guy walked out. That means I said, oh, he's on drugs. I should have sold him my urine. <laughs> well, you know something? That kind of bothers me. Urine tests bother me. And here's precisely why they bother me. The bottle is hard. Uh, number one, I mean, I don't do pot that much, so I don't, you know, I'm, I don't care if they were to test my pee, but I do think that by testing my pee, there's so many other things they can find out about me that they have no right to find out that only my doctor and I know, and that's like what medicine I'm on. You can do that through a urine test. Uh, do that and, with a hair sample, too. Uh, well, you know what she I, I don't know if they can do that with a hair sample, but uh, yeah. when I went to the room, Alex, and she was checking my chest, my breathing, she asked me, "Do you drink?" I says, "No." I said, "Maybe on, during Christmas I'll have a glass of wine." She says, "You don't have to get so nervous. It's not like I'm saying you're a lunch, but why are you asking if I'm drinking when you're hearing me breathe?" Because I they listen to you I'm... talk. Because <laughs> I was like, "What the hell is?" My sister heard me talking to other says, Don't you shut up? You're just asking your questions. But I thought that was like, what are you asking me that for? You're just trying to hear if I got a cold or something. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, it's like cops. They try to trick you. You know, like we'll walk up to a van where you can't see inside, bang on the side, and say, "Get out of there." I know you're in there. I don't know what we're doing wrong tonight, but we have a very small listening audience on video tonight. I start next July 1st, Alex. Wait, yeah. it, it, aren't you listening? I was talking about something. Uh, oh, about the drug. You wouldn't want to do your drugs. Oh, the video. Yeah. yeah. This is starting to frustrate me. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? Well, do pe people watch it afterwards? I mean, this is just no, the they production. Don't. No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, they do. I well, I listened and watched the the show, that uh, yesterday's show. Yeah. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Did you learn anything? By, by listening uh, to it? You know, uh, yeah, uh, you know, the interview you did with uh, your ex-wife. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, she is a brave person. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it's not easy handling the things that she's going through and really looking death in, in, in the eye. Well, she, yeah. I, I, she, uh, she called me tonight because she was having, there's a new problem that has occurred. Oh, well, I'm you sorry. know, I mean, it's just all part of the thing, right? Yes. Yeah. And so I had to talk to her about that. And, and you know, I mean, she only, you know, you, you can only have so much bravery with something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what she you, said. For the you, half hour she's on with you, she's brave. And then she, you know. Yeah. I uh, mean, I, you know, Al. On Al wrote, uh, in fact, they sent her one of your notes, Al, that you wrote Thank to you. me on, uh, on YouTube so that she could see it. And, and some, uh, you're not the only one who has written her and said, hey, you know, I mean, you're really an inspiration. But, you know, this is, um, this is a process which my father often said to me, when I die, I want to get hit by a Mack truck. Okay? You know, boom, I'm gone. That's it. All right? Not a bus. Huh? You know. Uh, but most of us are going to have to go through some kind of dying process. You know? And... She's going through one of the, the worst, okay? Yeah. Uh, and I think she's handling it marvelously. I mean, she says, you don't see me when I'm down on the ground crying my eyes out, you know? But yeah, she did say she's kind of moved past a lot of that and, well, and has it, come to the other side of the coin. Uh, she, did, uh, she did drugs. She, did a, uh, she paid somebody psilocybin. a lot of money to do a psilocybin session, which really? helped her cope okay. with dying. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I've done psilocybin mushroom, and I, all it did was give me an upset stomach. Well, uh, it, 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 there's a whole process besides just taking the psilocybin. Also, you have a person there who's guiding you through it, 
and having yes. you go through the process and deal with it and, and talk about things and so on. So, a guide. A guide, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't just a recreational thing she was doing. Yeah, when I did LSD back in the 70s, uh, uh, the friend of mine that was my guide was, uh, had to, he worked with that psychedelic wait a minute, wait a church wait a minute, in New York. You took LSD back in the 70s? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Didn't work, did it? Well, yeah, it did. <laughs> no, it uh, didn't. You know, no, didn't. I, we experienced different stuff, but I don't want to get off I, of uh, your ex's uh, yeah. uh, uh, discussion. Yeah. Uh, but she, so she took the psilocybin, she had a guide. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and she was able to, to cope with things because she took it and, and, and had that experience? Uh, yes, uh, more so than, you know, than usual. Okay, I mean, it, it helped. Uh, but it, it, you know, it, it, she, uh, she, you know, I, I think she, she's handling it well, but, oh, shut up, Mickey, Mickey. <laughs> Jeez, all right, my Mickey. It's 11, 14. <laughs> anyway, uh. Uh, you you got to buy the one that doesn't have the pedophile voice. <laughs> well, I have, you know, you have Mickey and then you have Minnie, which is, wait a minute, hold on a second. 11.15, See? <laughs> so, uh, hey, little girl, you want some candy? <laughs> I wish I could make, like, you know, recording the plays in there. They, they, yeah. they, I'm sure Apple will do that next, you know. That'll be the next oh. thing. Uh, so anyway, uh, let me see here. What what the, what what has been in the news? Uh, that uh, uh, well, uh, the cross, the World War One uh, uh, monument. That's a that's a cross. I guess uh, was it the Supreme Court uh, upheld that it could stay? Where what's this? Uh, there was a World War One monument. Mm -hmm. uh, to fallen soldiers, yeah. and it's it looks like a, a cross, mm -hmm. and uh, you know what uh, Catholics would use. You, you know what I want to, I want to talk about, uh, and it, it's really getting to me. Uh, oh, Biden. With, with, well, the whole thing with Biden, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I, white supremacist. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, it's it's a perfect Segregation. case. It's a perfect case of the Democrats eating their own. Right. You know, it's one thing to compete against all the other Democrats. But it's and he like, won't apologize. Well, no, let me finish the story, though. It's one thing to, to uh, uh, you know, uh, go up against uh, uh, the uh, 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 all the Democrats going up against each other. But they all seem to be united in one thing, and that's to gangbang Joe Biden. Now, right. I'm not a big Biden fan. No way I plan on voting for him in either a primary or for dog catcher. But the fact is that what this guy was saying is, hey, when I was a senator years ago, there were these racist motherfuckers, but in order to get things done, we learned how to cooperate with each other. They knew how I felt about them. And now all these people like Cory Booker are going, oh, this is terrible. Oh, he believes in racists and so on. And I think, right. See how they take stuff out of context? Well, no, that's not the point, Phil. The point is that, that they're eating their own. And I, mm -hmm. and I made a list of all the people that went after Joe Biden on this one, and I'm not voting like for Kamala any Harris. of them. Uh, Kamala Harris? I don't know if she was one yeah, of them. Yeah, was she? she was one of them. Uh, and, and Cory Booker. Uh, do the two up front. Yeah, uh, I, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna vote for those people. And it's not that I'm for Joe Biden. I just think that to say, you know, oh well, I wouldn't have cooperated with them. You weren't around back then when these guys had power, and you needed to get stuff done. You know, yeah. Alex. And if you keep saying I'm not going to vote for this one, I'm not going to vote for that one, you're going to have to vote for Gillibrand. No, no. So far, Buttigieg has not done anything to bother me. Uh, something was in the news about him today. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Okay, can anybody... Another reason why I'm an independent. Uh, how about you, uh, 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 Kevin? Buttigieg, what do you think? I like him so far. Yeah, 
So far, I like him, too. And he's not one of the guys gang-banging on Biden. Uh, it's, it's just another reason why I, I refuse to get in the line of sheep of the Democrats or the Republicans. Yeah. Uh, this is the headline. It was on Drudge. Uh, Hollywood's top gay donors have mixed feelings about Mayor Pete. So. Oh, well, that's, uh, that, that's, yeah, that's on Drudge. Yeah. Way yeah. too early, though. Drugs. Yeah. Drugs. Uh, which, which did it say? Which gay? Yeah. Uh, no, I'd, I'd have to click on it. Oh, you'd have to actually read the story, right? Well, Phil? I told you I read the headline. Uh, hey, you know that he he's off the campaign trail because he's dealing with actually a murder that happened uh, in his city. Uh, Over the weekend. Well, I, I would think that if you're running for the office and and there's something happening in your main job that you should go do it yeah, yeah an officer involved shooting the death of a 53 year old black man yeah so uh, yeah uh, let's see it's, I'm, I'm looking for uh, who the who the uh, donors are uh, you're looking for who the donors are yeah I, I haven't found it Trump oh, they make you go through ads and all sorts of crap. <coughs> yeah. uh, oh, it says Biden earned the loyalty of many LGBTQ donors in 2012. But I guess uh, like Ellen DeGeneres and so forth, uh, he's not getting the uh, he's not getting the support. Hollywood top gay donors have mixed feelings, mixed feelings about Buttigieg. Well, who are they? I don't see well, any it, list. Well, it's here. not appearing right here. Hollywood Ryan Democrat. Murphy. Uh, uh, well, it says here, including an event at the Beverly Hills home of mega producer Ryan Murphy that's co host a long list of high profile LBG. It's like uh, there's a reason this group is was so eager to meet Mayor Pete. For many of these influential donors, this will be their first ever chance to contribute. Where's the story about them having questions about it? I, I, that's, I, that's why and I boy, said I couldn't find no, any of the article. No, what, what you've got what is you... you've got a headline that makes it look like they're all questioning him. But what yeah. they're saying is they just want to hear from him. Yeah. Uh, you know, you were talking Do you want to, to talk Barry about Brown. fake? You want to talk about fake news? There's your fake uh, news on Drudge. Uh, okay. Well, uh, you, you were talking to Larry Brown about uh, uh, robotics and people people losing their jobs to mm -hmm. robots, and yeah. and uh, that's that's what uh, Andrew Yang is talking about. Is that this is what's going to happen, and that's why he has his guaranteed income uh, thing to you know to replace the income that people will lose will lose. Andrew uh, Yang, write him off. Not going to happen. Not going to uh, we'll see how he does in the debates. You know. He thinks he can buy off America by saying, I'm going to give you money. Well, that's what the rest of them are doing. Yeah. You know. But instead of saying, I'm going to give you the check. I mean, it's like, who was it that we were talking about last night who's for, uh, who's, who's, whose main thing is global warming, is the environment? Uh, uh, what's uh, Ainsley. Uh, Ainsley. 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 Yeah. Ainsley. yeah. Uh, and I said last night, I said, yes, I think that there's no bigger issue today that is going to affect our lives than the question of the environment and, and global warming. Hold on, Phil. Don't say anything yet. Okay. Uh, I, there is no bigger issue because I think I agree with the scientists who say in the next 10 years, this whole trend will be irreversible, okay? And we've got to do something about it now. And I tend to agree with that. But what I said about him was Americans don't care about the environment. They really, that's not an issue for most of America. Would you agree, Kevin? Kevin's been quiet. That's why I'm asking. Uh, I was just looking up something for uh, Phil for on Andrew, Andrew Yang here. Yeah. What about him? Wait a minute. I, I can't, I, we can't, I can't read it. Uh, he collected $80 today. <laughs> what, I can't, what does I can't it say? It. Read it to us, Kevin. Read, read. It says, yeah. Andrew, Andrew Yang, why do the Gen Z kids love him? Opposed to circumcision, legalized marijuana, revitalized shuttered malls, and universal basic income, $1,000 a month. Why do we want Sorry. to revitalize the malls? 
What does he have about circumcised? It's it's just a, it's just here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's his campaign sign. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold, hold on a second. Everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. Say something there, Kevin, so I can... There, hey, there's, your... there's his campaign sign. Uh, okay, here we go. There can you, you go. Can you see it now? Yeah. Just says, hold it real uh, quiet. Get high, yeah. go to the mall, keep, keep your, your foreskin. foreskin. This That's a joke. Yeah, that's yeah, what there's, I said. Get the start of the mule. <laughs> Jerry says, get away from me. Get high, go to the mall, keep <laughs> your foreskin, and I'll give you money. <laughs> Andrew Yang in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody pulls his Yang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the mall. Uh, is he is he trying to revitalize the mall? I don't is think that, so. I no. don't think that's. One I think he's a pretty. He's a realist. That uh, was actually from Colbert. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> disclaimer. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You know, he, he he has he has positions, and his and, and his and, position isn't. Uh, I'm not Trump. You know, the rest of them are, you know, elect me so you don't elect Trump. Uh, He's actually I, I got positions. I don't, I don't, I don't agree I with don't them. Know, I don't know that that's the case. Buttigieg is not one of these uh, elect That's what he uh, says. Uh, uh, No, he didn't some, he's not calling himself the anti-Trump. The guy who's going against Trump directly, the only one who's directly going against Trump Bernie is Biden. Biden. Is Biden. Yeah. Uh, and Bernie to a lesser extent. Uh, uh, the rest of them are, are trying to make their cases, but what they're all doing, a lot of them, is they're ganging up on Biden, perceiving him as the enemy. When he's not the enemy, he's just one of them, you know? Yeah, but you see, he makes all these gaffes, and he makes these What mistakes. gaffe? Name a gaffe he made lately. Well, the, the gaffe that they're talking about with the uh, uh, segregation. That's not a gaffe. Well, what did he say, Phil? What did he say, Phil? Well, to them, they, he w did. Uh, he because... said exactly what you said, which was, uh, I was able to get things done even though I was working with uh, people like this. Yeah, you know, right, that, that exactly. Segregated. Yes, right. Uh, Charlie had his hand up. Yeah. Uh, one gaffe that he made was he said that if he gets elected, the Republicans will work with him. But he was there during Obama's administration, and they never worked with him. Yeah, I don't think that that's, that's in the, book, the cards anymore. I think we are in such a divisive time now that you're never going to get these guys to agree with each other, you know? Well, uh, there was some uh, agreement today with Pelosi and Trump. Uh, was it over uh, the Iran thing, or uh, which, which, which was it that they just uh, had a discussion and they were in an agreement as to how to proceed? Why are you moving around so much, Al? I'm plugging my power supply in oh. before the phone runs out. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I was wondering. It's like, but he's I'm... not in a car, huh? No. Not. Are no. you in a car, Al? No. no. In the oh. rooms. But, oh, wow. but he's pl is but plugging stuff. his phone. It's all over the place. The phone. It's... <laughs> Wait a second. One more time. <laughs> I hope Jeff's not Sorry. mad. He didn't call back. No, uh, but he, he, you hurt his feelings if you yell at him. He really wants to do the right thing. Well, I wasn't yeah. yelling at him. I was just frustrated. I know, but the I, but your frustration causes him to, uh, you know, uh, get pushed out of shape. Because I uh, like angry, I like Je I like Jeff sensitive. better than all of you. You I know, know, so I mean, <laughs> I like Jeff better than all of you too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, like, I like you all. And if Jeff would call now, we could at least have one more person. To the, Mix. Hey, uh, uh, um, Gap that uh, eats their own. Wait, wait a minute. They're all Democrats. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick's not a Democrat, are you, Patrick? I'm not a Democrat. But, but he's not a Republican either. No, he is. No, he's a conservative. Conservative. You're, you, 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 oh, you're a conservative. Yeah. As soon as Trump picked up the mantle of the Republican Party. I stopped calling myself a Republican. Yeah, yeah. I just moved into conservative because I'm still on that side of the political aisle. I just won't use the term Republican. I see. Okay. Uh, I, I buy that. Okay. Can you, Alex, name things that Trump has done and leave the personality out of it? Leave the tweeting out of it. What he has done that has been positive for, uh, for the country. Uh, can you name three or four items? Three or four? 
Yeah, just I, oh, I can be, be no, an easy for no you. No way. I can't. No, I can't. Can anybody hear? Uh, yeah. I can't even name one. I can't name one either. Yeah, tax cuts, oh, less regulation. Tax cuts. Uh, those are both bad. Those are not uh, good for the country. A good economy. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. the, so no, the good the, the, the good economy is that the stock market is good, uh, but the average p person is not being benefited by this so-called good economy. Well, um, uh, who was it? Was it Pennsylvania that they said yesterday that uh, they? Oh, the governor of Pennsylvania uh, was talking about the tax cuts and how it has been really positive. Uh, for Pennsylvanians, and that was Abbott. No, really? no excuse Let me, me. I, I'm sorry. It was Texas. Abbott was the governor of Texas, and he said that. Oh, uh, oh, he a uh, Republican? No, he's a Democrat. It, it, Abbott is, is not a Democrat. No. Oh, he's not a Democrat. I thought he was a Democrat. No. All right. Well, so much for that. Okay, but the point I'm making is, is that uh, if the economy is, uh, let me just go around the panel here. Uh, anybody here? Finding that the economy has made you wealthier or better off? Yes. Well, uh, 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 how about you, uh, Al? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Went downhill. Went downhill. Well, I live in New York State, and you know how the Republicans <laughs> eat, so you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah. We thought you were living in your car, though. Uh, uh, well, time you call in. No, he calls <laughs> in from his car. He doesn't live that. in his Come car. Come on, can't you take a straight line and do something with it? You know, he calls us from his car after he gets the hooker to leave. Right. right. So, you know. Uh, but, uh, Tony, is your life better because of uh, Trump? Well, my 401k is better, I have to say. Oh. What you, and my little my investments with the market, Yes. No, I'm, I'm not going to say that's all him, but it has been better for for me for the market. Yeah, yeah I haven't checked my, my job stinks, but, but I mean my my investments are good. My 401k sucks. Really? Yeah, I'm in the index 500. Because the 401k that I have was one that was vested to me by Sirius XM, and it's all their stock, and their mm -hmm. stock has not been doing well. Yeah, well, it's, can't you? Sell it and put it into something else, or probably, would you experience pro probably, some gains? But, uh, probably, uh, but if gains. I do, I would have to. I would have to pay taxes on it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, if I got out of it, it would cost me money. Yeah. So I would rather hold on to it and only cash it in as the last thing that I cash in. You know, every year I have to sell off a certain amount of it. They sell it off for me, actually. And uh, I was looking at my mother's Social Security. I think she got a little bit of a raise. I, I don't know if I read it right. I'd have to check well, it out. Well, it's a, it's a cost of living increase. So if the cost of living right. goes up, which is not a good she thing. She got all excited. So if, if, yeah. this, yeah. For, if, I'm if, this, if this serious <laughs> stock yeah. is in a, uh, like a 401k or, or something no, like it, that. No, it's a, it's a 401k, but the only stock in it is serious. It's right. So can stock. you take the stock that's in the 401k and sell it and buy another stock and not be, uh, as long as the other, it stays in the 401k. I have no fucking idea, Phil. I would have to ask my businessman. You no, should. You can't. You, you would, can't? You would have to pay the taxes because you're selling a stock. Yeah, but but if you get out of one and get into another, no, another you can't one, slide. You can't still, slide from one to selling the, a stock. It isn't yeah. that you slide from one get, to another. You can roll it from a four hundred one k to a four hundred one k or an IRA to whatever. You still you can get away with that, but you can't do it from the stock to stock because it's a dividend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a transaction. I I've thought about trying that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. But you know, well, I don't yeah. trade stocks, so I don't know. Yeah, I did it yeah. once and I found that out. Yeah, the hard way. Yeah, <laughs> I hey, tried it. Hey, hey, yeah, I didn't do it. <laughs> didn't work for you, huh? Nope. Yeah. So I mean, uh, when you say things that Trump has done that is positive, I don't see anything to begin with. He's he's dealing with the border with, crisis. To begin with, the uh, there is no border crisis. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a crisis only because he created it. There is no global warming. You no, know, no. I mean, that, it's the same kind of no, attitude. No, it's not the same kind of attitude. Oh, it, it, it is the, uh, the, uh, the border crisis has been a uh, uh, 
what do you call it? The, what's the term you use? The, you think it's manufactured. The one, it, no, it's because of what he's been doing has been causing the crisis. Yeah, he's not letting people just unfettered come into the country. They're, they're coming without... into the country. They're coming in like crazy because he has put that pressure on them to get in here fast well, before it gets and... closed down. He cre He's created a... What he did before he became president, we really didn't have a border crisis. No, because we okay. didn't have so borders. So if he didn't, if he didn't, we didn't have a border crisis, and now we have a border crisis. Who do you think caused the border crisis? Obama. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I can't blame him. You everything. know, the cages that they were putting the kids in were there and built by Obama. Really. The, uh, the uh, the Obama fact that wasn't separating families, and they weren't well, built. They, were, they weren't. They were. Wait a minute. They weren't. Yes, he is. He's taking the kids away from the parents. Yeah, because when he does their DNA, he finds out they're not uh, with the parents that they've been rented for sixty dollars. All know? of them. Uh, all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. All of them. All of them. Phil. Fifteen percent of them. Fifteen percent. That's not. That's not a huge amount, Phil. It is when you look at the thousands and, of people. And that's 15 percent. That's 15 percent according to who? Uh, the uh, the border uh, authority. Uh, yeah, yeah, who are on Trump's side and want to make him look good. Not necessarily. I don't. I don't think that that's something that you can. Oh, get I know. I of. I just don't know where you pick the fifty percent from. Fifteen. Fifteen like percent from out of your ass. I mean, you know. I, uh, I got it off the news. But the point is that there CNBC, was there, there or, was no. CN CBSN. That means 85% of the kids are with their real parents and they're still being ripped out of their arms. Uh, it's Very good. The kids it's, have to be Charlie. sent back. It's the law uh, that the kids have to be sent uh, or dealt with in a certain amount of time, and there's not enough judges. There's, uh, you know, these. They're, well, that's, uh, that's why they, I'm saying. Uh, that's why I'm saying that Trump has caused a crisis because uh, he didn't take no, into account uh, these factors. No, it's and now the latest thing is he wants he wants vice he Congress. wants vice to what uh, ice uh, ice to throw out how many people something like uh, ten million or something? And, no, no, I think there's a million uh, that have overstayed or no, yeah. no, no, it wasn't an overstay yeah. that their be that the courts had yeah. said and 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 said that and, they had and, leave. and 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 ice says they can't do it. They no, don't. It's, how do you get you know that many agents to get a million no, people? But out? he's telling them to do it. That's the point. Good. It, it, you know, I mean, if you're in a gunfight and there's 16 guys in front of you and you only got five rounds in your gun, the what 16 that have to think do with this? which one's going to get shot. What does that have to do well, with this? Well, it's the same with the million. They don't know which one of them is going to get on a bus no. to Tijuana. Phil. Phil. You Phil. Know? Phil. Mm -hmm. Phil, yeah, yeah. They, they don't know. yes, yes, Al, Al, do you have something you want to say, Al, or what? what was, what, where did Al go? He just took... Alan, he's uh, turning on the air conditioning in his car. Is he? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, you know, all I'm saying is, is that when you when you're talking about what has he done that's good, I really can't, uh, can't honestly tell you anything. I I think that. You're you're got blinders on then. Hey, you know, and on this global warming, well, uh, yeah. isn't it China and India and Malaysia that need to uh, to get on the bandwagon? Mm -hmm. And the fact is, is that we've treated China as a uh, a favored trading partner, and they were exempt from having to uh, deal with the yeah. uh, pollution that they're creating. So therefore, uh, you know. If, if it's China, India, and Malaysia, and Indonesia that's causing the majority of the uh, of, of the pollution, it's not the United States. We're not gro gro gross polluters. Well, yeah, but China's trying to do something about it. Yeah, they're, they're handing out masks. No, Phil, they're trying to do something about it. It's yeah, been, what are they trying to do? It's tell? been a major. It's been a major. China. What? What? What did you say, Charlie? China, especially, is converting to solar. So, so is uh, India. So they are got, they're doing actually actively working to reduce how much carbon output they're doing. Yeah, but, but first they got to get all the solar built and stuff like that. You know. Yeah. So. Well, 
That, that's where the pollution's coming from. It's not coming no, from No, it's our. not just coming from them. I mean, w granted, in this country, we have lowered our footprint a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, we still have to do much more. I mean, we've got to do something about plastics, for instance. The yeah, plastic absolutely. problem is just, just ridiculous, you know? Yeah. Uh, I go to a restaurant, and they give you a straw. I yeah. hand it back to them. I will not take a straw. Wait, will you take and, uh, a paper straw? What ever happened to paper straws, by the way? Remember all yeah. straws were paper? Yeah. Well, were. Charlie is sitting there drinking from a plastic straw. But yeah, I've been using this straw for two years. The yeah. same straw. Oh, you ever man. Throwing any straws away. <laughs> that straw must be funky by now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could crawl up it anymore. <laughs> what, what happened to Al? We just have his wall. I hope he didn't hurt himself. I hope not, you know. Well, he, uh, he was laughing so hard at the last thing. Uh, yeah. I saw his hand go over the camera. I think it's stuck there. Yeah. No, no, no. No, it's not stuck there. He's, he's not, uh, he's not I gotta move keeps, him to a bigger square. It keeps square pulsating. <laughs> oh, that's his room, and, and I can see his ceiling. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. But what happened to Al? All right. He's, he's on like the he floor. Fell off the screen and the Somebody fell quick, the call... Way. Qu quick, call the cops. <laughs> uh, somebody well, gave yeah, me a T-shirt the other day. Uh, hate, it says, hate cops. Next time you need one, call a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah. Yeah, I, get, I will call yeah. the crackhead because he probably is the guy who has all my stuff. Yeah. You know, well, so. Faye wouldn't <laughs> let me wear it in public. <laughs> that's a little rough. That's a little rough. I never wear. I, I have you know, I have my Obama Mao, you know, Obama as a, uh, a, a Chinese soldier shirt, but right. I never wear that around Harlem because nobody will understand the fun that that shirt is, you know, and that I got it in China. Yeah, yeah. well, they are probably they'll get pissed off you making fun of Mao. I'm not making fun of Mao. Yeah, you know. Mao's not black. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so I don't, I don't know what happened to. It's just it's like we're looking at his wall. Yeah. So, so anyway, that, Patrick, Patrick, let me shut shut up a second. Let me talk to Patrick. Michael. Patrick, how are you doing, Patrick? I'm doing well. Yes. And and what is is there anything new in your life or anything that's bothering you in particular? Well, let's see. Uh, Tuesday, I had a dentist appointment, mm -hmm. yeah. and that went exceptionally well. Oh, good. You had a yeah. Di yeah. Well, I had everything done, and, and everything tip top. And they clean those bright and shiny teeth. Oh yeah. And well, let's uh, see. Open wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, wait a minute. Some say something, Patrick, and then show us your teeth because. If, uh, here are my teeth. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Look at oh, you got great teeth. You have a gap. Better you have a gap, teeth. don't you? Well, yeah, I oh, got the gap. space. Yeah. And then on the bottom, I got a tooth that's kind of sideways. That they could pull it, but I said, "Fuck it, leave it." You know. Yeah, I'm all crooked down here. Yeah, yeah right. I. Well, if you're crooked, you could be a politician. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, let me see here. There was a, there was one other story, and I'm trying to remember what it was. It was it was really kind of uh, getting to me. Um, let's see. We talked about Iran, and we'll the fact that Biden. I the fa fact that I think the boat thing, the whole thing with the with the ship, is a phony deal. Yep. You know. Uh, yes, Patrick. Yes. With Iran, I didn't hear the uh, discussion. Did you discuss that uh, the president authorized and already had planes in the air and authorized a strike? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me. Let me. Let me just. You. We're getting some kind of uh, 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 slap. Back. Go ahead. Continue. Okay. Uh, did you talk about the president authorized a strike, had planes in the air, and then rescinded that uh, yes. order? 
Yeah, we did. Yeah. And I, I think that's one of the things that bothers me with him is he does not think things completely through. And I think he's very off the cuff with some of that stuff. And fucking war is not something too off the cuff. That is something that when I saw that, it annoyed the shit out of me because that's not something you fuck with. If you're going to go after Iran, you need to plan it and make sure that when you send the strike strike fighters up, that they're going to do it. It's kind of like, so when you draw your weapon on somebody, how do you draw it? How do I draw it? I pull it out and they say, give me your wallet. Right. Don't kill me. Uh, We're having a little bit of trouble with your sound, uh, Patrick, for some reason. Uh, yeah, what we were talking about earlier was that Trump came to the conclusion that it may have been, uh, it wasn't intentional uh, on the part of the upper echelons of the Iranian government, that it may have been uh, someone who acted uh, independently, and he decided not to uh, have a military response, even though Pelosi and Schu I think Schumer and a number of others wanted a military response. Uh, no, actually, Schumer uh, w went before the cameras today and said that the, uh, the Senate and the Congress and so on, if you're going to go to war, you've got to go through them to approve yeah, it. Right. And that they were going to have meetings as to whether to make sure that the president couldn't just go to war without them agreeing. Well, who said that they were on board? Was it Pelosi? I don't think anybody said they were on board. But uh, that's not what Patrick just said. What, what did yeah, you say, Patrick? No, I don't think Patrick heard that part. No, I, I, the only thing that I, what I was commenting on is that the planes were already in the air. And Correct. they didn't receive that order. And that's what bothers me is if you say that he changed his mind and said it's not the upper echelon, then Somebody down below in the fucking White House at the Pentagon had to get to him before he gave the order to strike, even though they were ready to hear. See, here, 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 there was a carrier. There was a carrier in, in the uh, Persian Gulf, and there were planes. Yeah. Hmm? Were yeah, those the planes that were dispersed? Yeah, there were planes that were in the air. And then he rescinded that order. And the thing is, my point is, when you're a cop, you pull your weapon out because you're going to use it. It's the same with the military. It's not there to just willy-nilly throw them, you know, a couple of fighters in his and say, yeah, bring them back home, you know, because somebody convinced them. They may have had other information that led them to believe that they, a strike was needed because there was going to be possibly a strike by Iran against uh, Saudi Arabia or Israel or something like that. So, you know, they have the capability of striking their neighbors. They already blew up the desalination plant in Saudi Arabia, and that, and that you know, that's, that's a big hit on Saudi Arabia's infrastructure. And, but on the other hand, if you really want to be a Machiavellian, Maybe the reason that this is happening is because Congress didn't want the Saudis to receive the uh, uh, the, mil the shipments of arms that they were buying, and uh, then all of a sudden there's this issue going on between Iran and Saudi Arabia and the United States, and now they'll say, well, maybe we should sell them the eighty billion dollars in in uh, in armament and let them handle their own issue. Uh, this, this could be what this is all about. Yeah, it could be. I think we lost Al, didn't we? No, yeah. we didn't know because he's still, he's still on Skype. Maybe he uh, had to go to the bathroom. Who knows what happened to Al? He's all right. Yeah, and unlike the rest of the panel, he didn't bring the phone into the bathroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully not left him head on the floor. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I was afraid he fell out of his chair and hit his head or something. He's unconscious, lying. Uh, what I said wasn't that funny. <laughs> well, well, hopefully he'll be back before the show's over. Or who yeah. knows? Maybe you're right, Charlie. Maybe that's what happened. Uh, 
I don't know what, there was some other item in the news that I was uh, thinking about. Um, oh, God, I can't remember what it is. The thing that bothered me, I, I mentioned this yesterday. Uh, big Poppy, what's his name, uh, Ortiz? Oh, the, uh, the baseball player. Yeah. They made a big deal yesterday about, oh, oh, there you are. Okay, we wonder why we were seeing your ceiling, Al. Uh, uh, wait a Hang minute. on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's of course the dreaded. We were ready to call the EMTs. We don't want no, the we portrait. We don't like the dreaded portrait mode. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had to go deal with an emergency. I still have to go deal with an emergency, but it's, it's minor. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, the point is, the point is that that I mentioned this yesterday. That they were one on the news. And they said big headline tonight is. Uh, in the Ortiz shooting, that they didn't mean to shoot him. They were going to shoot somebody else. And I'm going, that was about the first thing I heard after it happened. What I is it that, that all it of us... A... No. That there was some cartel guy that uh, paid $8,000 to shoot him because he thought he was banging his wife. I would have shot the wife. No, 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 no. <laughs> this was a hit on somebody yeah. that was with Ortiz, okay, but they I mean, shot Ortiz by accident. But we knew that, like, when it first happened. And they were it making it like it was a big news yesterday. And I'm going, huh? You know, TMZ had this five minutes after it happened. Uh, the guy, was, they were, when they were hauling the guy away, he was saying, I didn't mean to shoot him. You know. Oh, was which it is on a, MSNBC? Uh, is that a good, by the way, is that a good defense? Uh, yeah, <laughs> in that country it is. <laughs> You know, there was no intent. Yeah. You know, hey, I intended to kill the yeah. other guy. Good news is you've won a free vacation. The bad news is it's in the Dominican Republic. Is that where everybody's dying? At <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, the mini bar. Yeah. yeah. Patrick, <laughs> Patrick wants to go to the mini bar. Apparently these <laughs> hotels have bought uh, cheap uh, 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 liquor. Yeah. Uh, uh, Patrick, yes, Patrick, Patrick. The reason I think that that became a headline yesterday mm -hmm. is because the prosecutors officially said that that's what happened. That's what I had read. Yeah. If you're right. We knew that ahead of time, but this was the prosecutors coming out and saying officially but that it was yeah, I, I, taken a hit. And I agree with you, Patrick, but the Lester Holt, okay, uh, yesterday on the news was acting like, oh, it, it, breaking news, mm. you know. <laughs> they didn't mean to shoot Ortiz, they meant to shoot somebody else. What do you mean breaking news? This was breaking well, he's news. He's trying to copy CNBC or C, C, whatever that, CNN. You know, everything's breaking news. Everything's breaking news now. Yeah. yeah we got a news Colgate alert. Paul Bauer breaking news commercial. Alert. They always news have, they, well, they always have the breaking news thing up there all the yeah. time. Alert, alert, alert. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so anyway, it works for them. So you yeah. copied it. Yeah, so maybe I, Lester Holt. I, I, this I, is the I, first thing he heard about. It, the first time he heard about it. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I want to I want to talk to uh, to uh, Kevin a second because we want to find out how things are going with your. You see, everybody here has some kind of medical condition except for Al and Tony. Oh, and and I got my mother though. You've got your mother. That <laughs> yeah. is that is a medical Thank condition. Thank God, knock on when she's doing good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the two of you should own a motel. Anyway, uh, the, um, uh, I want to know how you were doing with your, because you're, you're like a bionic man now yeah. with, that, with that thing they put in your, that was put into your what, your spine area? Or where was it, where was it put in? Yeah, the wires are in my spine and the unit is in my uh, side. I see. And, yeah. and 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 it, it, it's doing okay. I'm going to go get reprogrammed on the second. Yeah, but it, it's supposed to kill the pain, right? Yeah, it, it interrupts pain signals to the brain. Hey, Kevin, to, for my legs. Yeah. If you're going to get reprogrammed this time, ask to come back as a Republican. <laughs> yeah, that won't happen. I think he comes back the next show. Yeah. yeah. No, it's been working okay. Some stuff is not working. Some stuff is. So what do you mean? Every time some, I change what, what, it. What do you mean by some stuff is working? Some stuff is. I mean. Well, I, I got a whole set of programs that I'm using on my remote that I can change it to, and I'm, I'm changing it, and I'm logging what works and what doesn't work, and then I take it back to him, and he puts it all in the computer. Yeah. 
and then he logs what works and what doesn't work, and then they put it all together and make algorithms and then log all the stuff that works, and then eventually, in about six or eight months, they put everything together, what works, and yeah, make a whole bunch of programs that work. You know, Kevin, I used to sit in those chairs at Sharper Image and Brookstone, and you just press the Shiatsu one. That'll work. Yeah, that thing kills me. <laughs> yeah, but, what, but my question is, what is it supposed to do? Is it supposed to be completely kill the pain or just... No, no, it's not going to completely kill everything because I have bone pain and it doesn't do anything for the bone pain. Yeah, yeah. Because my heel is falling off and that... It's not going to do oh, anything God. for that. I just, I just got a twinge when you said that. You're here. Have you ever tried this shit, Kevin? <laughs> yeah. You should use the cream there, Phil had. No, what it's, shit is that? Uh, uh, it's, it's called uh, CBD uh, body cream. Extra I've got, strength. Yeah, I've got some CBD. From what he's yeah. described, he, he, he really needs super glue is what he needs. <laughs> yeah, I need super glue. Yeah. Actually, a titanium <laughs> rod and four screws is what they want to put in me. Really? Yeah, and I'm not real excited how, about how that. How did you get this condition uh, from... from oh, a long time ago, I broke it playing softball in 1985. Wow. 30 years ago. And, and this was just due to the healing and, and bacteria? No, it was, it was normal. It was fine until about 1999... And then I had two screws taken out because of some arthritis. And then uh, then the doctor wanted, a long story short, the doctor wanted to fix it. So he gave me some stuff that I was taking uh, called uh, Vioxx. Mm -hmm. And I took that oh, for I about... Oh, Yeah, I took that for about four years. And then they took it off the market because it was killing people. Yeah. And so they decided to fuse my ankle. And when they took the other two screws out and fused the ankle, it got really infected badly. Mm -hmm. So when they took the 11 screws out, the infection went into the bone and the bone sealed up. Oh, this so that's is, what happened. Yeah. So it's basically a cancer of the leg, and they oh. couldn't get it out. Oh, and it all went downhill from there. Well, let's Patrick see. is shaking his head like he understands that Patrick issue. Is, did you understand some of this stuff he's talking about, Patrick? From your own it's situation? The, the short version, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, ever, that, was, that happened in 2004, and ever since then it's been screwed up. So yeah. Nine surgeries, ten surgeries later. By the way, this well, is, uh, in case people just joined us, this is Alex's uh, uh, waiting, waiting room. room. Uh, yeah. Well, Patrick, Next. with all the surgeries you've had, have you had any of these issues or different ones? No, no but I, I've had leg surgeries where I've had screws and plates put in my hips and in my ankles and then had them taken out. And that's where I know what he's talking about. I've never gotten that. So. Yeah. But I could take the tap and you're fucked because it's the best thing get to get home. Yeah. Forever to get rid of. Yeah, Alex. Uh, no, Alex, uh, Patrick, you may be having some bandwidth issues. I, uh, I, either that, or maybe he's got maybe. I, well, I don't know. I don't know what the problem. And is. And I showed you my screws before, right? Didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My frame. Yeah. That. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. So, yeah. 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 So, anyway. Hardware. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, we're uh, we're coming close to the end here. In fact, we've got about another forty-five seconds. So, oh, um, la last night I took best of show in first place. I beat really? those old people like they never been beaten <laughs> before. He took best of show. If you don't know, folks, he he he's he's he passing himself off as a dog. You see, <laughs> and and he he got best of show, folks. Uh, yeah. uh, you know. <laughs> You know, my dog is now, she's a little terrier, but now she's claiming she's a German Shepherd. You know, I mean. <laughs> really? What are you doing with your dog now, too? Oh, yeah. Well, she sleeps with me every night. Oh, so it's your, your pictures and now your dog. No, no, no. This was a picture of, uh, oh, uh, oh. of, of uh, I went to a fight on Saturday with John Perulis, and I took a photo, uh, many photographs, but this is one of them, and uh, I printed it and entered it in the... Uh, twice a month contest mm -hmm. and uh, it was judged first and best in show 
Okay. Yeah, and and uh, beating up on old people. Uh, yeah, uh, beat them like they've never been beaten before. Well, listen, uh, <laughs> listen, listen. That's uh, our music, and we've had. I've had. I haven't really gotten tired tonight. This is amazing. Uh, Did you vape? That means I won't be able. No, I didn't vape. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, first of all, I want to thank Phil for being here tonight. Thank you. You haven't been on for three straight nights. Yeah, I was, you know, trying to give you. Hey, a don't little... don't make any excuses. It was wonderful. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, Tony, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, glad to hear. Now, are you officially getting paid for taking care of your mother? July first. July first. Congratulations. You have a. No, no more folding boxes for hats. You just fold up a coffin for your mother. Anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> how many of those hat boxes Al. you got in the basement? Now, thank you so much. And uh, Kevin, we love having you here. Charlie, as always. And of course, Patrick as well. I think all of you should give us a big wave goodbye. And I'll wave back at you. And the audience will wave back at you. And that's it for tonight. Yeah, that's our citizen panel. Let me hang up on them here. So they can go over and uh, deal with uh, the, the next show, which is uh, the intersection with Jack Bishop. That's coming up next on most of this uh, GabNet. Meanwhile, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I'll uh, see you tomorrow night after Damian Chaplin and the exchange at 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time. At 10 o'clock tomorrow night Eastern uh, Daylight Time, I will be here. Same time, same station in life. Meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody.